Hi everyone. I don't know if you've read any of the novels by Douglas Adams, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe and so on. He wrote a novel called Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. And in that book, one of the characters, Richard Macduff, asks the following question or poses the, the problem. And what he says was, it would be really useful to know before you buy a piece of furniture whether it's actually going to fit up the stairs or around the corner. Now, this is actually a, a serious mathematical problem. Imagine you've got uh, an L-shaped corner. Uh, so like, you know, one, one passage that meets another one at right angles. And the question is, what's the largest piece of furniture that you can get around that corner? Uh, it's called the moving sofa problem. And as I say, it's actually um, a serious and quite difficult. In fact, it's an unresolved problem in mathematics and it's the topic of today's video so let's discover the maths of the moving sofa problem it's a problem we're all familiar with how to get a large unwieldy shape around a tight corner Mathematicians are a bit more precise in stating the problem than this and have also reduced it to two dimensions. The exact challenge, first put forward by the Austrian-Canadian mathematician Leo Moser in 1966, is to figure out the largest 2D area that can negotiate the 90 degree bend in an L-shaped corridor that's one unit wide. This area even in academic circles, is now fondly known as the sofa constant. How can we determine the value of this curious fundamental constant of the universe? If we start with something as simple as an armchair that's square when seen from above, measuring one unit by one unit, so it has an area of one square unit, it'd be easy to steer around the corner. There wouldn't be much trouble either in negotiating the bend with a semicircular seat of unit radius. Just shove it to the end of the corridor, turn it through a right angle and then pull it in the other direction. This would have an area of pi over 2, or about 1.571. But so far we've been lazy and chosen easy shapes. Time to get a bit more imaginative and mathematically creative. In 1968, British mathematician John Hammersley came up with a funky new design, very 1960s, that pushed the record for the maximum area to pi over 2 plus 2 over pi, which is equal to about 2.2074. The Hammersley sofa, resembling an old telephone handset, is made up of a rectangle with a semicircle cut out of it and two quarter circles stuck on the ends. It could actually be used as a sofa, as could a slight improvement on it found by Joseph Gerver in 1992. You'd be hard pressed to tell between the Hammersley and Gerver sofas at a casual glance, but Gerver's carefully crafted variant uses three straight sections and 15 different curved sections that are nearly but not quite circular. It results in a very slight area increase to 2.2195367 square units. No one's yet found a better solution, and though it remains unproven, it's quite possible that none exists. It just goes to show, doesn't it, that even very simply stated problems in mathematics can be extremely difficult to solve. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little excursion into one of the backwaters of our subject and that you'll join us again soon to discover more maths.